Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! There is one group on the ground that all the other key players see as a common enemy, ISIS. Now disturbing new evidence of the systematic mass recruitment of children in Syria and Iraq to fight for so-called Islamic State has been uncovered by Channel 4 News. Thousands of children, some as young as eight, are being taught how to fight, how to die in the name of jihad for ISIS. And the price of resisting? The public mutilation of children who refuse to join them. And a warning, this film from Evan Williams contains some very distressing testimony from children that may upset some viewers. These pictures show the so-called Islamic State creating a new army in Syria and Iraq. Channel 4 News has gathered the first evidence of a systematic campaign to embed ISIS ideology into the next generation including the recruitment of children as young as eight as soldiers and suicide bombers. We speak to a 15-year-old boy who's just been through ISIS military training. To an ISIS teacher who prepared children for death. And a boy soldier who paid a terrible price for resisting. Told for the first time, this is the shocking and sometimes bizarre world of the caliphate, where young children are being taught how to kill and how to die. The so-called Islamic State has tens of thousands of children under its control. Children they are now actively recruiting as their next generation of fighters. Ten-year-old Hamoud was one of them. Getting more information about ISIS military training isn't easy. Thousands of Syrian refugees now live in Turkish border towns. But ISIS is here too. Ever since we've arrived, people have been telling us how there are Islamic State sympathizers among the Syrians living here in Turkey. That means that most of them are too afraid to speak to us. But some children were willing to speak out on condition of anonymity. At 14, Abu Ibrahim, not his real name, joined the ISIS army after they convinced him they were pure Muslims. But when they threatened to kill his brother, Abu Ibrahim lost faith in ISIS and fled. ISIS videos show children being put through rigorous physical training. But Abu Ibrahim says they're also being taught something much more dangerous. ISIS calls these children cubs of the caliphate. Abu Ibrahim says, from what he and others saw, thousands of children are being systematically recruited across ISIS-controlled territory into the three different units of the ISIS army, and the children are central to its long-term strategic plan. This ISIS video shows what Abu Ibrahim calls the second stage of basic training for children, where they're further coerced to commit violence. All of this seemingly unaffected by hundreds of coalition airstrikes. It's physically hard, but the main aim is to create a new army of unquestioning and what ISIS deems ideologically pure fighters. 
فهم ينمون جيل الخلافه ومحاربه الناس ومحاربه الكفار بينهم لديه الولاء المطلق من هذه اللحظه It's that loyalty that ISIS is exploiting for another horrifying purpose. It starts with showing the children videos of suicide attacks. فعندما تتكرر المشاهد مرة مرتين إلى عدة مرات فيصبح لدي أو لدى أي إنسان شعور بأني سأفعل كما فعل الشخص الذي قبلي فيذهبون إلى الدولة يقولون نحن نريد أن نعمل ننفذ عمليات. And how how young would be the youngest boy that wants to be a suicide bomber that you saw? نفذ بهم شخص عمره ثمان سنوات. Eight. It's just a child. ولم تستطيع أن تقنعه بأن يتخلى عن فكرته. Getting young children to sacrifice their lives without question requires intensive indoctrination. We track down an insider who is in charge of that process. Until just a few weeks before we met her, Emil was an ISIS teacher who prepared girls as young as 10 to seek death. She too narrowly escaped after becoming disillusioned by the scale of the violence. ولازم نحارب كل واحد يحاربنا وضد لازم نعلي كلمة الله وصول غسل عقول للأطفال الصغار. These boys have also recently escaped ISIS-controlled Syria. Now in Turkey, they attend weekly de-radicalization classes to counter the influence of Islamic State indoctrination. Children are then taught to spy on their parents who risk death if they object to their children joining the ISIS army. Boys are then routinely gathered in town squares. Here, they're offered money and food to join ISIS and fed anti-Western tirades. <laughs> Ten-year-old Bashir, also not his real name, was among them. <laughs> راح تفوتون الجنة والمدري شكون وآخر شيء يعني راح تكيفون وراح نعطيكم كومنت شغلات وهيك Boys are then sat in front of big screens and forced to watch videos of ISIS brutality. Propaganda films like this one, which shows the execution of Syrian soldiers in Palmyra. هاي ما يطلعون غير عن جنود بشار شو يطلعون؟ أحمد. Is eleven. They say they are often forced to watch real executions too. إنه يحشد لدخول مدينة تضمر، فنقول له هاي هات هاي هات. But perhaps most disturbingly of all, ISIS releases videos showing these executions are increasingly being carried out by the boys themselves. Like this boy who beheaded a Syrian officer in January, or this one in which a boy apparently executes two alleged Russian spies. Boys are told they too will be killed if they don't join ISIS by age 16. But death is not the only punishment for refusing to join ISIS. Omar is 14. 
He'd been serving with more moderate opposition forces. ISIS fighters captured and then tortured him to try to force him to join them. He refused to join and was sentenced to a horrifying punishment. These photos show Omar's actual amputation. And the man known as the bulldozer who severed his limbs. Omar's amputations were carried out just three weeks before we met him. He had escaped Syria only days before. The price of his bravery is constant pain, depression and poverty. Omar's public punishment was used as a warning to children not to resist ISIS. The message this new ISIS army of children receives is that the Syrian government of Bashar al-Assad is the main target for now. But as their own videos reveal, their long-term plan is to attack the West whenever possible. And that film was produced and directed by Everett Williams.